Oh, Amanda, looking good tonight. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for traveling out here. So Amanda and I have grown up together since we were little. She's my best friend, my greatest role model, and the therapist to all my life problems. <laughs> she gets a lot of late night phone calls that are typically induced by my best friend, wine. <laughs> We have a lot of wonderful memories together. I don't even know. She's career driven, career oriented, so much so that Anthony and I have a pact that we're quitting our jobs and moving in with two more promotions. <laughs> the first night I met Anthony was at Golden, Gar Go Golden Gardens Beach on a girl's cousin's trip and Anthony showed up with a box full of homemade desserts. That was the night we knew that he was in. My greatest wish for the two of you is that through the years, your love for each other will so deepen and grow that years from now, you will look back on this day, your wedding day, as the day you loved each other the least. I have been best friends with Amanda since we were 16. Simply put, Amanda is my person. She's a gypsy at heart with a free spirit. She's a kick-ass businesswoman, fearless and full of ambition. She's loyal and passionate about her friends and family and famous for her heart-to-hearts. And Amanda has always known exactly who she is and what she wants. But now she's your person, Anthony. And if I had to give my person to anybody, I would not be able to give her to a lesser man than you. And one day I called him and I was like, you found the one? He's like, yep. <laughs> just like that one word and I was like, really? I could just tell in his voice he was so excited. So this woman right here, amazing. Anthony's very lucky to have found her likewise. I, I, I wish him the best and words of advice. I've been married for 11 years. Always be there for each other, love each other. Never go to bed mad, that's for one, because I've done that and it's not good. <laughs> Anthony and Amanda, I love you. Thank you for letting me be part of the wedding. I wish you the best. To Amanda and Anthony. So there's a couple stories where I made a list of all the stuff I learned from Tony. And after I read it, I had to burn it and <laughs> not let anybody see that list. Nobody can hear that stuff, but, but I'm so much wiser now. So I wanted to tell a story about just us as brothers, or our brotherhood, and only one kept coming to mind. A couple days after the fight, and I got an awesome black eye. I mean, whew, things perfect. And we get a call from our family that there's some relatives that need some help at a grocery store. We were both kind of looking for a job. So, of course, Dad's like, yeah, hurry up, you're going. So we go to show up to this interview. And yeah, I've got this big old black eye. I can barely see out of it. You know, just, well, here we go. All we got to do is show up, sign some papers, and the job is ours. And after all that, the manager tried making a joke. He just looks at me and says, well, I'm sure the other guy looks worse. Well, the other guy is right here. And the look on his face was pretty priceless. He was just like, oh, shit. You guys aren't going to be doing that at work, are you? Like, no, no, we're good. We laughed about it. So the next day, you know, we're getting ready for work, and I'm looking in the bathroom like, oh, boy. And in comes Anthony with some makeup and some other cover-up. I don't know where he pulls it out of. I mean, there's three guys living in the house. I don't know where he's got the makeup. But he patched me up, good to go, and off we were. That's, to me, you know, that's what brothers are for. Like I said, can't wait to watch and learn. Love you guys. To the future. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Love you, buddy. <laughs>